All right, guys, welcome back to my talking channel from the grocery ghetto. When we don't visit the casting couch, we visit the grocery ghetto. I'm gonna set up some uh, kind of space where I can film and uh, you know, but another day. So, algún día, as you say in Spanish. Indians. This is really complicated and I've done like 60 videos about one Indian. So we should start talking about other Indians, but what's the fun in that? Let's see if we can talk about this week's problems. Pumps? Yeah, pumps and fuel and yeah, it goes hand in hand. Fuel pumps and throttle levers. That's I think is this week's big issues. These pumps that we are fiddling with, uh, if we're talking OM601, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. The Bosch M pumps or the PES pumps, they are very simple and very complicated think about it as a carburetor you know the carburetor is like the most simple fucking design in the world or is it you know sitting at home at your kitchen table and there's no carburetors in the world and you're gonna figure this out it's pretty fucking complicated uh, so so it's, it's really amazing how you can make something with basic simple tools as they had a hundred fucking years ago. And you can build something extremely complicated. And, and you can see that even on the EDC pumps because uh, I talked to, to Balder, the inventor of the DSL-1, about this a little bit. And, and he told me that it's really hard to control it because you have different loads and different boosts and the pump has to do different things. But the pump can just give more or less fuel and it's like, it's such a complicated thing that someone made so simple. And uh, we have to appreciate that. And this is something that I don't really understand today. Maybe I will understand this in the future or maybe the process will be easier in the future. But there's a lot of vendors selling pump elements. And this is a little bit strange for me because I know at least a handful that's this many Re reputable this is a hard uh, word reputable shops pump shops that have built diesel pumps and rebuilt diesel pumps for 30 40 years and they can't calibrate a super pump they have tried and tried and tried and tried and they just can't do it Yet people buy these kits. And I'm a, I mean, how many of these elements are in the drawer right now or in the box or somewhere else or just laying on the fucking bench in the garage? Or sitting in a pump that doesn't work? So, these super simple things that we call M pumps. They are not so simple with the uh, screws and levers and whatnot. And that's why there is a handful of people that can build these pumps. Uh, so, fueling to this complicated, simple machine or device. Device. How do you set it up? We have talked about this before in a couple of videos and still I see the questions and I see responses that is like, stop, please stop. 
so how do we do it? Yes, we treat this like it's a petrol car with injection and not a, not a carburetor. Instead of the fuel rail, we have the pump. The pump is our fuel rail. That's why we have six injector lines if it's a 606. One line going to each cylinder. So it's our fuel rail. And it's actually a common rail. <laughs> that is that is really funny. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't fucking matter. So we treat it as a fuel rail. So we put fuel in, non-restricted. And we take fuel out on the return line, unrestricted. So we just flow fuel through the pump. And on the return line, we put the fuel pressure regulator. Yes as you do on your petrol car. And with this fuel pressure regulator, we can control the pressure all the way from the fuel pump in the tank, or if we have an inline pump, all the way through the fuel filters, the injection pump, and to the fuel pressure regulator. This will give us, of course, a very steady, stable fuel pressure and we will have the best performance we can get out of our pump. That's it. So it's very, very simple. Electric feed pump, fuel pressure regulator. Put the filter or two in there if you want. You know, there are, you have to think about a couple of things. There are pumps that don't like to suck. And that means that you can ha not have a very very uh, low what the fuck is the name uh, yeah the thing you measure fuel filter with so uh, microns yeah you can't have a super low micro filter before the pump there are on the other hand fuel pumps that don't give a shit that you suck it through. So make sure you know what you can have before your pump. But a hundred micron, it's good enough, you know. You don't need the birds and the threes going through your pump. But, you know, if it's smaller than that, doesn't matter. And then you have a good one after the pump uh, and before your injection pump. So your injection pump is safe. The injection pump is more or less indestructible, but the elements that we have replaced that are now eight millimeter, uh, they are a very nice piece of engineering. And if we fuck them up, the performance will be a little bit lost, of course. It's the same as putting gravel into your cylinders. So, now we know that. We know that we have a very simple uh, but complicated piece of engineering that we call injection pump. We know how to set the fuel up to our injection pump. But how the fuck do we uh, use the throttle lever on our fuel pump? Because we need it at our foot here. Yeah, most of you guys use the rear throttle level, the stock one, and you route that from uh, from your diesel heater blank off plate on your head of your 606, and uh, everything is good. However, this cable is quite long, and uh, it tends to slack a little bit and people use uh, all kinds of clamps on your wires, make them heavy and I have seen all the fucking bullshit. So, it's like, it's not that good of a setup. You don't have that crisp feel in your pedal. You don't, when you let it go, the, the wire gonna go a little bit like this. And, of course, that's going to affect the fuel to your engine, so your engine will do woo-woo-woo like this, and you're driving over a little bit of bump, and the 
the wire will go like this and your car will go like this and then you have to buy some oil squirter from some guy that say that that's the problem i don't know you know we can do this in better ways what i do you can do what the fuck you want but what i do is that i take on the front side of the pump and i put the lever on the opposite side of the stock throttle lever because the shaft goes through the pump and i make sure that on the full throttle so i of course use the original and i put full and I put my lever on so it's horizontal and then I tighten it and then I can let go of the stock lever and my lever will be very much in a downwards angle doesn't matter what matters is that when you have full throttle your lever, your lever is straight then Right above this, you have two very good and well placed by Mercedes uh, intake manifold bolts. And here, you put your little bracket that you can put your wire uh, throttle cable in. And then route it down to the lever on your pump. It's super easy. It takes like five minutes to do with a hand drill or you buy it expensive from me. You can choose that yourself. And there you go. You know, you have your pump. That is amazing. You have your fuel system set up and now you can fucking use it. That's good. Uh, fuel pressure. Yeah, you don't hook up any boost to your fuel pressure regulator. You can do that, you can set it on half a bar at idle and then when you boost you raise the pressure. But there's really no need for that and it's only things that can go wrong. So put it static, three bar static. One thing though is to that is good is to check that you have a very stable fuel pressure. So root some uh, gauge into the car or something just yes, for logging and testing or I have used electronic devices but it doesn't matter and then you can do watt pulls and if you at watt are at 3 bar it's good if you at watt are dropping in fuel pressure you know that you have not enough of fuel your pump is bad or restricted in some way and whatnot, so you have to fix that. It is that simple. Uh, this is a long fucking video, so we stop now. I love you all and hey, uh, there is a lot of people that have paid the raffle now, but we are still missing just a few. I will start messaging you if you don't pay. So do that, please. Other than that, life is good. Have a nice day and see you another day. And not from the car, okay? GSXR for life. Fuck you all.